I think it will thrill you. It may shock you. It might even horrify you. So if any of you feel that you do not care to subject your nerves to such a strain, now is your chance to... Uh, well, we warned you. Hey guys, welcome to Happy Wax TV. So I apologize for not putting uh, any uh, trailers or videos out in the last little bit. Um, I had surgery on my forehead. I had a couple bumps removed. And <laughs> I'll tell you, after the surgery, my fucking head was just pounding. And it was funny because it was a couple days ago and uh, the doctor said there might be some swelling, there may not be, everybody's different. And I was like, yeah, no problem, no problem. Well, anyways, yesterday came and I was fine. There was no pain, nothing, hardly any swelling, a little bit in my forehead, obviously. And I thought, wow, I'm in the home stretch. And then today I woke up and it was like I got hit over the head with a fucking two by four. All the swelling in my forehead had dropped down into my face like he said it was probably going to do. I've played hockey for years you know, gotten fights, hockey fights and stuff. I've never ever have I had black eyes. Woke up this morning, two fucking black eyes. Now you can't see them because I've kind of got them hidden with my glasses and I got my hat kind of down low. So, but my face is swollen, my head's pounding again. And I just, you know what I mean? I was like, fuck it, I'm not doing nothing today. And then I went on to Bloody Disgusting and read the review for this movie, for Rootwood. And man, they are praising this movie. And I was like, wait a minute. I got this trailer sent to me like a week ago. <laughs> I haven't fucking done a review on it. So anyways, so I'm going to fucking plow through this trailer review because I really want to see this fucking trailer now that I've read the movie review for this flick. Now, it doesn't have a, a distribution deal yet. So, I mean, it's not like you're going to see it video on demand um, anytime soon. Really, the only place you can see it um, is when it, you know, if it plays at a festival, like a film festival, you know, wherever you live. So, which is how bloody disgusting saw this and man they're fucking raving about this movie um basically uh it's uh well it revolves around uh, like a podcast there's two students that do a podcast called the spooky hour and i guess um uh they get uh, asked or hired by a hollywood film producer uh who's played by felicia rose which is awesome because she's a huge name and i actually met her at Shockstock earlier this year so um but uh, yeah, there's this, there's this place called the uh, Rootwood Forest and supposedly in the forest there's this creature called the Wooden Devil and uh, she hires these two podcasters to go in and investigate and see if they can find this thing and do a documentary on it and all this sort of stuff. So, And I mean, the, the movie review that this guy did is saying it's kind of like a mix between The Blair Witch Project and Insidious and I mean, wow, we put those two fucking movies together. And I'm sold. So, and it's it's cool too because I haven't seen the trailer yet. But even the uh, the poster for it, um, if you look it up, uh, there's like a like a skull of some sort of a creature. I'm assuming it might be the the uh, the redwood devil, or sorry, not the redwood, the, the wooden devil. It's called. But the horns on it are, are like tree branches. It's fucking crazy looking. So, um, anyways, you know what? Let's. Uh, how about I shut my mouth here and uh, let's watch this trailer because I've been dying to watch this thing. Welcome to the Spooky Hour, your podcast about paranormal phenomena and spooky legends worldwide. Two weeks ago, I received this exciting email from a Hollywood producer, but she asked us if we wanted to take part in the physical production of the documentary on this legend that's circulating Hollywood. Right this way. I want to produce a documentary about the curse of the wooden devil. We finally reached our destination after four hours of driving. I'm here in Rootwood Forest with Aaron, Jess, and myself. So the first person that was rumored to have gone missing in this forest was a little girl and her dog. And they found her hanging. They said it was the wooden devil and convinced her to hang herself.
thing was in our trailer. Yeah, I want to see this fucking movie. Holy fuck, does that look good. Man, oh man. You know, sometimes when you read reviews of uh, critics and stuff, and they want, you know, if they praise a movie or whatever, you know what I mean? And then it, you see it, and again, I'm going to say this again. It happened with The Witch, and it happened with Hereditary, where they they were praising how awesome this, and this is critics, because critics, I'm not a, I'm not a critic. I, I'm not trained in film I never went to movie school or nothing I'm just the fucking bozo that sits in front of a camera on YouTube and gives you my two cents on movies whether I like them or not so um, but critics see and 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 critique movies differently than someone like I would where I just tell you straight up you know what I mean like I don't really I mean cinematography is there and, and and stuff like that I, I get it you know what I mean but they break it right down so sometimes when these movies are praised like the witch and hereditary and then when the actual real people like me, the film goers, go and see these movies, and they're think, and I, it makes me think like, what, what the fuck were they watching? You know what I mean? Like, and again, I hate the heart back on this, but Hereditary, calling it the next Exorcist, still fucking drives me nuts. <laughs> so, anyways, but I can tell you one thing: um, when I was reading the the write up on this movie on Bloody Disgusting, like 80% of me was like, oh man, this is going to be fucking awesome because I've been dying to watch this movie. But there's 20% going, oh fuck, here we go. It's going to be another critics praising of a movie that's not that good. But you know what? This trailer looks fucking killer. And I can just tell, I, I just know it, I can feel it in my bones, that this movie is going to be fucking intense. Like he has said nothing bad about this flick. And he's calling it a monster movie. And even better, he's calling it a practical effects monster movie. Well, right there, it's fucking win-win for me because I love creature features. And it... I, Thirdly, he's saying this is probably the best creature movie or monster movie this year. So I'm like, well, what the fuck? Because there's been quite a few of them come out. So if this guy is going on about this movie that much, then, I mean, I need to see this fucking movie in full. So, and it's, it's pretty cool too, because um, the trailer, you know, I don't like trailers that are over two minutes. This one was like a little bit over, but they didn't really give too much away. Like, I mean, they didn't really give you anything more than what's in the synopsis you know there's a creature in it right or supposed to be a creature in it um and you know the what they're doing there it's the uh, two podcasters and you know i think they get one of their friends and uh, they go into the woods try and find this creature and then they want to document it that's that's what they're there for and that's exactly what the trailer shows and just the lead up to it you know they give you a little bit of background about the little girl with her dog going missing or, or being found being hung which is fucking frightening in itself to do that to a kid you know what i mean and then at the very very end they they give some little subtle glimpses of what the creature may or may not look like i mean there's the one scene where it has the the branch like horns at the back of the uh, uh their mobile home there and which looked pretty cool and then um when the lady is standing there oh, she, i think she found the uh, missing persons uh pamphlet or flyer and the creature standing behind her and they do that fucking shutter flash um you know giving a glimpse of the creature there which is cool and then i don't know how she got in there uh, maybe uh, we're, but inside that tunnel with the camera set up and the fucking creatures behind her but it's all blurred out but you can see it on the on the camera in fact i'm going to use that as my thumbnail because i thought that was fucking actually gave me a little bit of goosebumps so i mean this this movie looks fucking amazing and Marcel Walls is a fucking great director, especially judging him by his last movie. So, I don't know. And they're giving this on Bloody Disgusting for the movie. They're giving it an 8.5 out of 10, which is fucking crazy. So, because it's a horror movie, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, man. The trailer looks good. This guy's hyping the fuck out of it, which, which is great. Because I honestly, I'm a, good, I'm a good judge of character. And I really do think this movie's going to kill it. So, But the only thing that sucks is there's no distribution deal yet. So, I don't know when it's going to come you know, video on demand or, or, or how it's going to get released. But uh, I will definitely be keeping my, uh, my eyes on this one. And I've actually talked to these guys on Messenger. 
So I'm going to keep bugging them too to see if I can get a release date from them when they actually do sign something because there's absolutely no doubt in my mind this movie's going to get signed. So I don't know, man. It looks it looks fucking good. So and it's a it's a monster movie, a practical monster movie. I mean, why do we not have more of this style of movie? I mean, every time they release one, it's fucking awesome and it's fantastic. Like I don't understand why they want to go with these crazy fish looking fucking CGI creatures. It's just it boggles my mind, man. Like just use practical effects. We all know if you're a true horror fan, you know it works. And it's what we want to see, so just keep it coming. And this movie looks fucking great because that's what it's done. So, anyways, okay, I can ramble on about how awesome this flick looks, but uh, and it did, and it, it only had a budget of seven hundred thousand. At least that's what IMBD was saying about it. So, I don't know, guys. I really want to see this flick. My face is killing me. I got to get through this, but um, yeah. Anyways, check it out. You've seen the trailer. Let me know what you think. If I get a release date for this thing, you know, sure as shit, I'm going to be posting it in Happy Wax TV. Make sure you jump over to Happy Wax TV on Facebook too because um, I show watch parties there, uh, classic horror movies, and it's great because we can all converse with each other while we're watching the movie. It's a lot of fun, and I love doing it. And um, yeah, the, it seems the more I do them, the more people come on board. So, I mean, it only takes two fucking seconds to sign up. Just ask to join, and I'll fucking add you, and I'll leave a link in the description box. It doesn't get any easier than that. So, anyways, guys, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Movie's called Rootwood. It looks fucking awesome. Jump over on their Facebook page and say hi. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys. Stay scared.